Okay, we are recording our Chaos Diversity and Inclusion Working Group meeting on October 7, 2019. The agenda for today is to review action items and then go through the DNI surveys that we collected. Action items, uh, short, um, we are, Matt Snell wanted to send out and he did send out an email about finding a uh, potentially new time for our meetings. So there's a, when it's good, I already answered. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> so we'll see and encourage others a few times to get good responses. I wanted to share before this meeting the best surveys to go through and I didn't do that until this morning. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Hello. Sorry for the delay. Yep. Fighting with my coffee. And then the third action item from last week was to ask about the Google account and so on. And we had a lively discussion afterwards on the mailing list and the weekly or the monthly call. So that's done and action items are followed elsewhere, not in this working group. Anything else to review, to remind us of? Not that I can think of. Oh, one, sorry, one more thing that we might want to put on the agenda maybe for the next meeting is we should probably talk about um, the Open Source Summit in Lyon and just maybe maybe talk about the presentations that we have because I know Nicole and I have a presentation. I'm not sure if there are any others. I need to reach out to Nicole I, I, um, and make sure that we're prepared because I haven't really, I haven't really talked to her <laughs> since we agreed to do it. All right. Yeah, I'm not going this time, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry, you're going to be on holiday or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's a good excuse for not going to a conference. Yeah. I'll send some photos. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best excuse to go on vacation. Yep. I'm going right after. So I'm oh. I'm going to Lyon and then I'm going to be home for a day and a half, I think, and then go on holiday. Awesome. So um, surveys. I um, I don't know how best to do this. Hmm. Let me share the document. Well, I guess you have the documents in the meeting minutes. Mm -hmm. So what we have right now is a collection of URLs to the items and the um, reports as far as I was able to find them and others have contributed them. And I just suggest that we just start at the top and go through the survey items mm -hmm. and identify where we can fit them in our current metrics. So we just take them as templates. I don't know, maybe there's a different approach that we can take. We could try that and see how it works. Mm -hmm. It might, um, because this is a little bit complex, it might help if you share your screen and we can kind of talk about it. Would that be all right? Yeah, certainly. If your laptop is, so I know that your laptop is kind of working so I can I can share my screen if you prefer to you can yeah, try sure. go ahead because my new laptop is still in the mail <laughs> so okay let me share my screen yeah which mm, is this one I guess do you see the collection of surveys yes okay. 
And then if I do this, you see the agenda. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. 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 So if you go to the first one, Apache, mm -hmm. let's go on that first link. That is a nice page because it contains the answers and the original questions mm -hmm. with answer choices. Uh, I, th I think it's a good one to go through. Mm -hmm. So if we scroll down, we have I mean, the first survey question. So which is, uh, now these are the main numbers. Number of responses, evolution. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So we have, and question one, how long have you been involved with an open, with an Apache project community? Mm -hmm. So this falls on the category of um, demographic information, demographics. Mm -hmm. Right now, we do not have a metric or demographic information. How much do we care about demographics from a diversity and inclusion standpoint? I mean, how much do we care about defining demographic metrics for diversity and inclusion specifically? I guess it's more my question. We do have an entry in our wiki for this, right? So, so, I, I want to say we do care because people coming to our working group to put together a survey, if we don't provide them with diversity questions, then they will have to them elsewhere. Hmm. The best I remember were basically all of these dimensions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I guess my question was more around how much do we care about demographic questions that aren't directly related to diversity and inclusion? So, how long you've been in the project? Does that does that matter to us? Um, I mean, maybe maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I'm just. I always feel like with the diversity and inclusion stuff, we really need to make sure that we're not just doing everything that we that we're scoping it for the scope of the work group. Hmm. So I think it's interesting, at least from um, at least this this thing, because then we can deal with uh, the perception of the people. So those, I just to say, just an example. Those basically probably after three years or 10 years, they know the idiosyncrasy of the working group. They know the communities, they know the people. So they feel comfortable about how the general way of working is. But if we compare this to a newcomer, um, given that people and way of developing software, for instance, evolve, maybe newcomers don't feel that comfortable with the way things are done because they expect it to be, I don't know, um, you know, more transparent or less transparent or using another tools or these kind of things. Okay. So. Yeah, we could leave them. I mean, I was just kind of asking the question to make sure we at least think about it. Hmm. Yeah. I, I also fall on the side of thinking that demographic information is relevant to diversity inclusion because it helps us segment the answers. Hmm. And the newcomer may have a different perspective than someone okay. who has been contributing for a while. So what happens if we find, for instance, in a survey like this one, that there is some uh, outlier somewhere, but then suddenly most of the newcomers, for instance, are have some specific perception and this is something not expected in, in the community. So this this is kind of an actionable insight, right? So hey, there's something here that we should look at this. Um, yeah, no, definitely having this characterization of people, I think it's it's important. No, no, yes. I'm not an expert in surveys, I have to say so. So maybe we 
maybe we skip the, all the demographic questions for today mm -hmm. and focus on the other ones because the demographic questions, they will be very similar across and all, all the surveys. And I think they're not the most valuable as Don pointed out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and probably another, just, just to close this, another, I, I'm thinking about the numbers here. So they have 250, 184, 131. So if we go for for the people that are involved, typically the the way in open source is like you have a long tail of people contributing just one or two commits or a few issues and so on. So it would be good to know uh, or to understand from a TNI perspective, what's the percentage of this 257 if compared to the, to the community contributing in somehow? Um, because then perhaps this number is, let's say, like 5% uh, of the total community, but this number here is like 80% uh, of the total community that have contributed more than 10 years. Because these numbers might be relevant as well. They are not part of the demographics perhaps, but they might be part of the, from a DNA perspective, might be worse. Certainly an inclusion metric. Yeah. How long have you been involved? It shows us how well we're including people. Hmm. Anyway, please go ahead. So let's go for the next. Um, so we can go say ahead. that. Hmm? Yep, I'd say we skip that. Okay. Same, I guess. Yep, yeah. It falls into the demographics, yeah. Yeah, this one again. Yep, gender. Mm -hmm. Age, same. Uh, yep, Skip same. Mm -hmm. um, this is interesting. So I think this one, we do have a metric that is relevant here. I'm going to try to find it. This is in project and community, I think. All mm -hmm. these processes. Which one you said? Sorry. I think this would be documentation where this fits. Here, let me share the link here in the chat. So the goal of this question was to find out if the documentation around policies and guidelines were being referred to by committers. But perhaps the interesting part of this discussion is why they refer to these guidelines instead of if there are guidelines. What do you think? So I think this one is a qualifying question for the next one. The next one says, when you locate information mm. about process policy and guidelines, what is your experience? And mm -hmm. we need this one question seven to know how much weight to give to answers on the next one for individual people. Yeah. Because if they never look at them, then whatever they answer on the next one doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's say ASF question seven. And you are taking notes. I'm writing this in the meeting minutes. Okay. We'll have to go through and put this into our metrics. Um, shall we copy the objective and so on? I think it makes I sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are. All right.
Oh, hey, Nicole. Hey. So then I guess that we copy right. question seven, question eight, right? Both of them. Yep, I'm copying. Oh, you are copying. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Would be interesting. Oh, yeah. oh hi. Sorry. So Nicole, just so you know what we're doing right now, we're going through the surveys that we collected and try to identify which survey items we can use for our metrics. Oh, excellent. Okay, great. So Daniel is sharing his screen and we're taking note of all that. Hmm. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thanks. So ASF question seven and eight for the documentation metric. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the number nine, it comments about the this specific survey. So. Oh, that's already the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Okay. I do think that's a general good question to have, but not really relevant to us. Mm -hmm. Is that really the the whole DNI survey? It is. Yeah. Huh. I think they just wanted to take stuff of the demographics. That's what my impression is here. Okay. Yeah. So we may uh, would be good to have Saron on board to discuss about this because he was in charge of this. Um, as far as I remember, I might be I might be wrong. So uh, I'm not really sure. This was the first time they were doing this, so they wanted to be like small and then see what the community, the feeling of the community about this, and then say, okay, we have this, um, and and check about the feedback. So I guess this is why uh, they have this specific question here because maybe people feel weird about this, or maybe not, or maybe they feel happy. Anyway. Sorry, I don't, I, I didn't quite see, was there a recommendation for doing something with our metrics? Can you ask again? <laughs> um, were you making a proposal for our chaos DNI metrics? Okay. Well, question, question seven and eight are good questions. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Shall we move on to yeah. Mozilla? Let's go. So it's the last link, the one to GitHub. That oh, has okay. the item. Mm -hmm. Let me close this. Here we go. Um, should, should I go open each of them? Sure, yeah. Let's open all of them and go through them one by one. Okay. Maybe, what? oh, I, what I was going to suggest is maybe we start with the most recent ones, because some mm -hmm. of them are from like two years ago. I think maybe if we start with maybe the two that were from seven months ago is just a, mm -hmm. just order them that way. Might yeah. Be better. So yeah, this is, reorganize them. So this is disability. And the other one is uh, sexual orientation. So it's this one here. So Don, are you changing the order in the document? No. Okay. So this is the disability markdown.
Okay, disability demographic skip. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, sorry, let me rephrase my concern about demographics. Some, mm -hmm. some demographics are relevant to diversity and inclusion, some are not. I don't think we should skip, I, my, my fear is if we skip all of the demographic questions, half of them are specific to diversity and inclusion demographics. So mm -hmm. are you a person with a disability is, I think, a DNI demographic, like key demographical question. Do you see what I mean? Like how long you've been in the project, you could ask that and it would apply to pretty much across the board on any of the metrics that we do as, yeah. as something that you might care about from a demographic standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, whereas this, this one I feel is a demographical question that directly impacts any work that we would do in DNI. Okay, then I added it as a disability question. What's next? It's sexual orientation. Okay, I think that's also one that we care about, right? Then if we go for the others would be gender identity, language, race, ethnicity, so language, would be this one. Language. Native language. Um, but gender identity is not this, this. Okay, I can zoom out a bit. Yeah, so this is gender identity. Mm. Gender pronouns. And the third one would be race, ethnicity. Okay. This is something that when, when I see a, a US based survey, I don't know what to answer sometimes because I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's why I like this question because it just asks whether you identify as a minority where you live. Yeah. So as a Spaniard living in Spain, I don't think you're a minority. Yeah. But if, for instance, for any of the conferences we have in the US, and there is a list of, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, list of races and so on, I guess, it's what. What, sh what should I answer? Because I don't know. Any recommendation? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for US conferences, I I would say that probably no. Like, yeah, exactly. So I'm, I don't feel like uh, underrepresented at so on. I may yeah. feel underrepresented in some cases due to I'm not English native speaker. Um, but that's probably the main difference I see. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, it's hard to, I don't know, understand uh, jargon or some other things or jokes, but, but that's all. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, next one would be uh, we have the last year, so then we go for the two years ago, which is CPG follow, which is this one. Uh, CPG, I, I'm not sure about what the, what's the meaning of CPG. I think it's community participation guidelines. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, yeah, right. Uh -huh. Okay, mm, so it's, it's this uh, code of conduct, kind of, or not? Yeah, it, it's, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. 
So, on registration during the event, I think we already have that. If we go to the event uh, code of conduct one, mm -hmm. let's go to events code of yeah. conduct. Yeah, uh, the next one would be uh, language. Okay. No, language now, uh, gender pronouns. So this one. Uh, mm -hmm. So, okay, I've already got got that one. I'm I'm still on the communication uh, community participation. Oh, sorry. I wanted to make sure we have those questions captured already. So, so I am looking at the uh, code of conduct at events. Yeah, if you click there. Event diversity and then code of conduct at events. Mm -hmm. I I don't see the one that we have in Mozilla. And we have similar ones, but not one that is as comprehensive. Um. Oh no, we do have it. The last three. Items. Oh, you said this one in the strategies? No. No, in success metrics okay. under quantitative, the last three, the ones with the I behind them. Mm -hmm. So the last three. Oh, the, hmm. the sub bullet points on registration and during the event. Okay. Yeah, those are exactly okay. taken from here and they're hmm. already recognized. Yeah. Emma did good work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so this is this. We do have them. So then the next one is the uh, in their pronouns. But I don't know if we have this. Uh, I put it in our meeting minutes. Okay, and then the very last one is uh, sorry. Oh, sorry, prototype. I guess this is oops. Yeah, there were some good lessons learned in that document. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on to the next yeah. survey. Uh, let me close this. Okay, I have to. I have to drop off as usual. I'll see you all later. Okay. So, Thank you for your time. Yeah. No. Okay. Kernel contributor. Yep. Kernel contributor. Okay. So Nicole, I know you're on the call and listening. Yeah. Do you have any comments yeah. so far? No, no. Mine would have been the same as yours, guys, so no. Okay. Hmm. So, so uh, in the new car, have, oh, go ahead. Um, The first one, email, yeah, whatever. The second one, that is um, one that I think. Yeah, paid versus unpaid. We have this discussion in, uh, in the demographics part of the. Yep. Yeah. 
Go ahead, Nicole. I can't remember where we knitted out on that discussion, but I remember we had an earlier discussion around it. Yeah. So yeah, I was looking for this in is in the dimensions of demographics we have. So one of them is uh, we have an old oh. human, number thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. And the Apache survey had a very similar question, so I'm going to add it. Okay. I think we should include this. Oh, I remember, I remember talking to uh, Shua about this. Um, it was a really interesting one. Perhaps this is more focused on newcomers to the community, uh, which is in any case really interesting because then she was adding information about mentorship programs. Uh, if you want to be a mentor in the future, um, suggestions, and then some demographics, as you can see. So it's, um, but yeah, basically the mentorship part is the important thing here. So that's excellent. Yeah, it is. So let's yeah. say, I, I, I like that you plan to submit more patches in the future mm -hmm. as a measure for plant continued contribution. Mm -hmm. And then we have mentorship metrics. Hmm. Which we have to review whether we can add those to our mentorship metrics. Oh, and then the next one here, suggestion for onboarding. This is an onboarding metric. Hmm. Yep. Okay, and I think we can skip the identify and age. Hmm. One. Yep, okay, next one. Okay. Next. Perfect, so. Then we have, well, this is the open demographics. So open source survey, GitHub. Oh, there is another survey. Uh, I remember from Libresoft where I used to work. And it's not here. I should add this. But it's more about open source in general. Then it happened that they were asking for the gender. Well, I will look for this. Anyway, um, this link maybe, the results of the survey. No, the survey questions, right? So which one are we now at? OpenStack? Oh, oh no, uh, open source survey GitHub. Oh, yeah, perfect. Survey question. Yeah. So they are asking, the first question is about participation type. Okay. Yeah, I think we can skip that. You think so? Why? So I understand that it's interesting, mm -hmm. but it falls in the category of interesting, <laughs> not, not diversity and inclusion. Mm. Are there any, um, I guess I'm wondering on this one, are, are there any correlations to be drawn 
uh, between the two. Meaning, um, if if you're coming from an underrepresented group, are you more likely you know, to fall into one of these categories more than another? And yeah. if, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If and maybe if that's the case, maybe it makes it more relevant. Um, but then number four, as I'm looking through this, number four um, is then extremely broad mm. because it includes everything from, you know, uh, submitting pull requests to contributing to docs. Um, yeah. to code to yeah I mean that one is really broad I, I don't know the way that it's structured now I think we would end up restructuring it well number one you know is it um, considering it's relevant uh and then number two, I think we would end up, perhaps, if we decided yes on number one, we might end up restructuring it to break it apart a little bit. Mm. Perhaps it's, it's a, I think this discussion is interesting if we understand the contributor's path in somehow. So it's not exactly this, but I don't know, for instance, if, if there's any difference. Well, there are differences for sure if you are paid versus if you are unpaid or if you are able to attend conferences than if you are not or if you already know, uh, know the people that are participating in the project than if you don't know them or if you feel comfortable producing, uh, well, participating in an open source community if compared if you are a newcomer. So understanding that contributor's path, I think it makes sense. What do you think, Nicole and Georg? I believe we do have a metric that is one that I've been trying to develop <laughs> for a while, and that's diversity of contribution. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, a lot of work, yeah. a, a very complicated one. And I think asking here, how do you participate in open source? can give us information about this diversity of contributions question or metric. Mm -hmm. And to Nicole's point, if we look at question one, answer four, yes, it includes a lot, but that's why we have question two, which gets triggered if you answer option four to then break it out. See, I interpreted number two, I think, a little differently. And maybe, so how are you interpreting number, do you mean question two, or do you mean answer two of question one? I was talking about question one, answer four, and if you answer that, then question two, the grid is being shown. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. I because see. You said that okay. question one, answer four, participate in open source development with all of these different options. That is very broad. And that's why this survey has question two to then clarify how people are actually engaging in open source. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see it now. It's right after that. If participation type four, then, yeah. Yeah. I do, I do agree with you, Danielle, that this, uh, this almost gets to that 
contributor pass, mm -hmm. it, it's almost attempting that, right? Um, but it, it feels like it doesn't quite get there. But yeah, it, it, it's like it's, it's making its way in that direction. Yeah. Okay, I put it down as a diversity of contributions or contributor path metric. Yeah. Okay, continue. Okay, um, so then we have employment status that we agreed is... Uh, Too general. Yeah, professional software. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. how, how, yeah, how often you contribute to producing software? Um, Too general. Is it about experience, maybe? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, future contribution, interest. How interested interested are you in contributing to open source projects in the future? Mm, yeah, maybe to general as well. Yeah. Same as future contribution likelihood. Okay, so those are kind of framing. Right? The the rest of the survey seems to be the uh, determinants of consumption contribution. Um, so there are some items in here that are good for D and I. Yeah. Um. But um, okay, yeah. Mm. So, for example, a code of conduct uh, a contributing guide. Responsive maintainers, welcoming community. Those are the four that I see here relevant to BNI. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which ones you said again? Code of conduct, contributing guide, responsive maintainers, welcoming community. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I agree with you. Then if we go for open source software contributor priorities. So when thinking about whether to contribute to an open source project, how important are the following things? Uh, so the previous one was, oh, it's about user. Okay, so the first one was about user. The second one is about contributor, when you are a contributor. Okay. I think hmm. I don't know what you think. Yeah, I think we can I think they fall into the same category somehow. Hmm. One is contributing. And one is for the other three. ones are yeah, the other ones seem to me to be um, business considerations. Those that we haven't named as D and I considerations. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I'm going through. I'm already past question eight, Daniel. <coughs> Okay. I think, Nicole, you were also looking at the questions that come after this. <laughs> Probably these ones. Oh, there's a mentorship help section. This is Question 22. Yeah. Hmm. So 
transparency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mentorship one. Mm -hmm. I think all of these are interesting, right, from an endorsement perspective. I believe so, yes. I'm adding them to our meeting minutes. Let's change they have some issues with the format here. <laughs> oh, harassment inclusivity. Yes, those are very relevant. And it does look like they have issues here. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why they switched to a table here, or it was all lists. I don't know. Well, they have they have some tables. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. but that's a matrix, not for um, multiple choice. Mm. Well, in any case, all of these are interesting to have. Yeah. Wow, this is a lot of questions. Yeah. And then the next one is open source and paid work. And then this is the same as the other one. And then demographics. And then this is all. So probably the last one is harassment. Okay, shall I go to the next one? Uh, I'm still typing up notes from what we discussed about this one. Okay.
I like the idea of so I'm at the demographics right now. Is, uh, Minority, we did have that. Race, ethnicity. <clears throat> Minority, home country and and for the one they live in. Then we have gender. And this one is a gender identity. Q51 might be interesting to parents' formal education. Which one? Parents' formal education, basically, if you are scaling in the social um, scale. Yeah. Oh, written English. Uh, that's language. <clears throat> Education. Okay, I think we can skip 52 and 53. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's go on to the next survey. Uh, there are a couple of minutes for to the end of the meeting, just in case. Okay. Hmm. Should we leave this here and we take note of the next one is the open open stack labor to this survey two thousand fifteen. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So um, I was wondering if we are having the NI meeting during the next week. This Dio Amiga will be out. Ah, uh, yes. Are you attending by any chance, uh, Nicole? All things open? Uh, unfortunately, no, I won't be there. Will you be there? Yeah, I'll be there. My first time. Oh, cool. oh, nice. Oh, you're going to really enjoy it. Oh, it's cool. a great event. It's a great event. I was there last year, I think. You'll enjoy it. Okay. You really will. Um, unfortunately, I will not be there. But I will be um, in Europe. Uh, I'll, I, I'll be in Lyon. Will you be in Lyon? No, not this time. I'll be on vacation these days. Uh, ah, okay. 
Okay. Darn it. Darn it. We're going to miss each other. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Georg, will you be at either one? Um, at either one, which, so I will not be in the all, but I will be at All Things Open. Was there a third one? Oh, okay. Yeah, just the two I was asking about. Okay. So you're going to be at ATO, but you yeah. won't be in the all. No. Um, um, so you're Andrike, on, Andrike so. will be there, and Anna will be there as well, so yeah. There were there will be okay. audience. Yeah. Are you oh, cool. oh, is Matt, is Matt oh. gonna be in the I don't know. Matt German Prey, I don't think so. But he oh, okay. is considering coming to Chaos Con and Fosdem. Mm, but we good. Oh nice. So are you planning to come to Fosdem, Nicole, maybe? <laughs> We will we will have to see about that one. That's in uh, January, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Last first weekend of February, but the Kyokos okay. on is on the thirty first of January. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I also saw that uh, Sustain Summit will be before Fosdem. Oh, so, really? I don't think they have released the date of the event yet, but they might probably do it the same day as ChaosCon. Oh, no. They said that they are going to have this January 30th. Oh, they oh. are? So Good. this is the day before, right? Yeah. Yes. Indeed. If that's the case, then I'm going to ask that we travel there a day sooner because yeah. it's an amazing conference. January 30th. I would like to be there. Okay. I I want to. Okay. Let's change anyway. our travel plans. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> cool. Oh, cool. Excellent. Oh, and I will respond to um uh your the I was it was nice to see the um the. Uh, that changing the meeting time, so I'm going to respond to that right after that this meeting. So, yeah. Yeah, excellent. Thank you, Nicole. Yeah. And yeah. Maybe we can find a time that works for all of us a little better. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, okay, great. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Recording.